start with the past, okay, which is the Three of Wands. Now, in the in your past, relationships were likely to be going very well, but only if your partner was willing to treat you as an equal. If they weren't, it may have been time to move on after you've made your complaints and position clear. So this card, if you look at the picture, if you had recently or if you had met someone new back then, you knew that you were being held in very high regard by this new person, okay? If you were in the market for love but felt as though you don't have any pro or you didn't have any prospects, you were probably currently spending too much time and effort on your career. So you thought about allowing, allowing more time for your personal life. And then this card is paired with a star card, which shows it's a, it was a great time to meet someone new if you were in the market for a new relationship at that time. Although it was not impossible that love simply knocked at your door, it was more likely that it will or would, it was more likely that you would have needed to get out and mix and mingle. A new relationship could have happened at any time so you didn't turn down any invitations. If you were already in a love and committed relationship, then your relationship may well have been ready to move to a new level. Now that's what this card, this card in the picture, it looks like it's showing that one that is not only higher but more fulfilling relationship was about to begin. So you made most of this opportunity and you built on it. Now that's in your past. Let's move on to the present. Okay, we start with the Page of Wands. Now with the Page of Wands, it's showing that messages of love and affection are likely to be coming your way. So if you're single, a new prospect, a new lover with whom you have a lot of things in common with and who is also very adventurous may be about to come your way. So it looks like you're going to need to take a chance on them, but only if you're available to do so. If you're committed and not happy, now is a good time to begin deciding if the relationship can be saved and how long you will try to make it happen. Just keep in mind that both parties have to be willing to work in a relationship. So if your partner isn't, it might be time to move on. Now this card is paired with the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles points to things going very well for the person that you have your heart set on. If you're not in a committed relationship, what you need to be open to other possibilities now. That's what you need to do. So none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. You need to keep that in mind. Okay, so don't give into the feelings of suspicion or fear. Just remember that all is well. Now these two cards paired together uh, with the Page of Wands is showing that messages of love could be headed your way. Okay, and just remember, don't be so suspicious. Okay, because all is well. And it, it just the seven of pentacles is pointing to 
things going well for the person that you've got your heart set on. And now that's in your present. Now we move on to the challenge. Okay, the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups basically, if you look at it, it's a it's showing that a love relationship you are in may have just ended. Okay, or may be about to start the process of ending. Okay, what you need to do is you, re you realize all is not lost. You're probably not ready to move on into a new relationship, but give yourself some time and space then get back out there. Okay, so there will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really need and want to be, which is in a relationship that really works for you and works well. And this card is paired with the King of Swords. Okay, now the King of Swords, it shows a strong, forceful, opinionated man may be a part of the scenario. All right, now just keep in mind that if this man is your lover or beloved, it means that you are going to have to accept him as he is. And whether you are a male or female, You'll best deal with him by drawing on the feminine aspects of your nature. So don't put up with being mistreated. However, this man can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds. So what you need to do is protect yourself. Now with these two cards, Pair it together, uh, the Five of Cups say you, it shows that you might be ending a relationship, okay, or you may have just ended a relationship, and it could have been because he's a forceful, uh, powerful, opinionated uh, man in your life, and... Um, and that this man can walk the line between being manly and overstepping his bounds. So that could be the problem. And that's going to be your challenge, okay? Uh, we'll move on to the outcome. And it starts with the fool card. Okay, so with the fool card, if you take a look at the picture... It indicates that you are already ready for commitment. I'm sorry, if you look at the picture, it indicates that you are, looks like you are not ready for commitment. At least not quite yet. Even though others may be pressing you for one now, it's not the time, okay? There is nothing wrong with having fun. And indeed, this card is a positive for your love life. Lots of fun seems to be in the offering at in the okay, lots of fun seems to be in the and lots of fun seems to, okay, looking at this card, it seems like a lot of fun is headed your way what you want right now in existing relationships. So you could be enjoying fun in relationships. And if, on the other hand, you are looking for a new relationship and hopefully love, then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way. So when you're wrapped up in having fun, it can be easily, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. True love is not always instant, so you need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. All right, now that card is paired with the Page of Cups showing a younger person, even younger by a few days, may be part of your love scenario. 
Remember that love does not know age. So don't discount people who are younger purely on that basis. Discard in the context of love can mean that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. So give them a chance. All right, now these two cards paired together is basically letting you know that true love is not always instant. So you need to make sure you're aware of that. It could be creeping up on you. Okay, and if he's younger than you, don't pass judgment because age is just a number and that's going to be your outcome. So Aquarius, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone, okay? Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.